advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. When I was a kid, I used to ride up and down my neighborhood on my bicycle when I was five or six years old. Ride all the kids' uh, tickets in the neighborhood, and uh, I used to always come home mad because my brother used to always rip up the tickets. He used to always complain to my mom, so she always told me that one day I could get back at him and ride him a real ticket he couldn't rip up, so still haven't got that chance yet, but maybe one day. All right, we're going to stop this car for uh, run a stop sign. He uh, also cut me off back there on the other road, so we'll pull him over and see what's going on while he did that. Hey, have a seat in the car. Street Team 1 3, 1031 on foot from Coconut towards Kirk Road. I am. I am. Put your hands behind your back. I am. Street Team 13, I'm just going to be between Coconut and Davis, just south of Lakewood. Got a black male 1015. Jen's behind your back. I'm not resisting. My car's unsecure, and I don't know if the vehicle he bailed out of left or not. I believe it's going to be Coconut. Just south of Lakewood, the passenger belt out and ran. Oh, beautiful. Got some crack, and some pills. Street Team 13, I got felony 57, but I got the person 1015. Stand up. Walk back this way. Stand forward. I get back to my vehicle. I'll give you the tag. Passenger bailed out when I stopped him, and then I chased the passenger and caught him. And the vehicle must have left sometime. Stay right there, okay? Yes, sir. Could you pass me the phone, sir? No, I cannot. Who's in the car with you, man? They just gave me a lift from the store, sir. What's it about this? I don't know. Huh? That went on me. I, don't I know. saw you throw it. No, you did. Guy. You did not I was see. chasing behind you and saw you throw this out of your right hand. No, you did not, sir. Yes, I did. No, you did not. That yes, was I not did. in my possession. That okay. was not in my possession. You can stop calling him. He's going to go to jail, okay? As soon as I pulled him over, he jumped out of the passenger seat and took off. So I chased him. And when I got back, I caught him back there in the backyard. And when I got back, the vehicle was gone. He jumped out with that pack of cigarettes in his hand. And as he went around the corner, gold, he threw it. A gold Ford no, I did not. It's a Ford Taurus. Yeah. Do you have anything else on you, partner? Because if you go to jail with anything else on you, no, sir. it's additional charges, okay? No, sir. Hey, listen to me. Can you stand up? Listen to me. Why'd you run from the car? I didn't know who it was. I didn't see no light, sir. So you didn't I, see that? No, sir. Are you kidding me? No, sir. I did not see. The lights weren't on at the time. Yes, sir, they were. Okay, I apologize. You turned around and looked at me, standing right by my car, and what'd you do? I ran. Why did you run? Did you hear me yell in sheriff's office? No, sir. What did you hear me yelling at you? Just stop. Did you stop? No, sir. And right before you fell to the ground, you threw this pack of cigarettes out of your hand? No, sir. Sorry, it's this one. No, okay? sir. This is not a, I'm not asking you. This is what I'm telling you well, happened. I know. What I'm saying right now can be brought up in front of a judge. Okay, that's fine. And I'm more than welcome to take this to court, okay? Yes, but here's what you're being charged with. 
Possession of crack cocaine. Which was not in my possession. You can say it wasn't your possession. That's fine. I'm telling you, I saw you throw it out of your hand. I'm going to find out what kind of pills these are. You're going to get charged with those pills, and you're going to get charged for resisting. For running from me, okay? Yes, sir. All right? Yes. Okay. And you also weren't wearing your seatbelt in the vehicle either. So that's why I have a legal right to detain you. Okay? Yes, sir. And by me, we're going to detain you to get your information right to the seatbelt. You take off running. Okay? Yes, sir. So that's what you're going to be under arrest for today. Okay, you can deny this all that you want. My report's going to read exactly what I told you. I saw you throw this out of your hand. Okay? Yes, sir. All right, let's walk back here. I called up Poison Control on the blue pills. Uh, she said it's oxycodone, 30 milligrams, which is a scheduled narcotic, which you'd have to have a prescription to maintain them. Okay. It's one of our issued test kits. They gave us cocaine in there mixed with the two liquids to turn it blue. As you can see, it's clearly blue that's coming out. Through it. So he's got, I don't know, 15 or 20, 12 or 15 rocks here. So okay. he'll get that charge and get the oxycodone, too. Yeah. All right. So we'll forfeit his money and everything, and uh, he'll take his ride to jail tonight. All right. Sounds good. William. Yes. Listen to me, bro. Listen, I'm going to talk to you just one-on-one, -on -one, okay? You had it in your hand. I saw you throw it. That's irrelevant. Listen, I know people go through some hard times, okay? It's understandable you haven't been arrested in a long time, okay? Is this just something you're getting into recently to make some money? The person that was in the car. Okay. They gave it to me because they didn't want to get caught. So they gave you the cigarette like, pack. You know, instead of them taking the blame because of the situation that they're in with their family at home. You know, that's what I've done, just, you know, for them. Okay, you figured you'd run and get away, right? You wouldn't have to worry about getting caught with it? You know, just to, just because, you know, I didn't want them to get in any more trouble than they were. Is it a good friend of yours? Yes, sir. So you're basically taking the blame for the possession of crack and the knowledge code on for them? Yes, sir. All right, buddy. It's the life he chooses to live. This is the way he's going to end up. Definitely. So. It's a game. We won today. We lost. My grandpa was a uh, detective in a small town outside of uh, London, England. It was pretty interesting. I have my grandpa's badge and uh, pictures of him as a uh, famous detective in a small town. And uh, I kind of feel that maybe because of that, it's in my blood and, and uh, pretty proud of that. All right, we're going to stop this car up ahead. Uh, Seen it a few times driving around the area tonight that we've been focusing on. Uh, um, we've got a lot of problems up in this area, so we're going to stop him and see what we find. Sam 40 truck. Sam 40 got Dallas, north of Foothill. Three Frank John Merritt. Sam 40 got What's up? How you doing? Good. How much you had to drink tonight? I actually just drink a beer at a bar. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's your, uh, do you have your driver's license with you? Well, not really. Do you have a driver's license? Because this is your ID card. I'm sure it's the same number, no sir? Here it is. And you've had one beer? Yeah, I just drank one. I'm just going home. I just got off of work. Uh-huh. So I'm just like trying to get home. I've seen you driving around a couple times tonight. You ever been arrested before? Yes. Huh? Yeah. For what? For, um, not arrested, like, thrown in jail. I've been arrested thrown in for, um, driving, uh, suspiciously. You got arrested for that? Yeah. They, they handcuffed me and threw me in a jail for like an hour and I just got off. That's about it. All right. Give me a minute. I'll be right back with you. Stopped this guy for uh, some traffic violations. He's weaving on the road. This guy has a uh, warrant for traffic violations, so I'm going to pull him out of the car and put him in handcuffs while they did to uh, check on the status of it. Then I'm going to search the car. I've seen him about four times and I drive him up and down by oh, fantasy. Yeah, and uh, he says he's uh, coming from work and uh, oh, yeah, in and out. But he's obviously been drinking and I don't see any uniform in the car. So he's up to no good. Okay, sir. Can you step back here, please? 
Come on back here. You know, I've got no uh, guns, knives, weapons on you. No, sir. All right, turn around, face that hotel for me. Put your hands on your head and link your fingers. Spread your legs. Well, you got a little warrant for your arrest. I have a warrant? Right here. Okay. Figure out this warrant and we'll go from there, okay? Nothing in your hat here. Nothing illegal in that car? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Honestly? You sound a little hesitant on that. Anything so in there? I don't know why I'm going to jail. I'm kind of like... You might have put him in your care. car. Uh, I'm just searching the car, um, see if I can find anything illegal in it. He was in and around a uh, area known for narcotics uh, activity, so see what I can find. Heavy smell of marijuana coming from this backpack. And there it is. Quite a few nice looking uh, marijuana buds in there. More than uh, personal use, just based on the way the buds are separated from one another. It'd all be about $5 or $10 bags for each one of those buds. I'm sorry, I thought I told you. It's confirmed it's already here. 2500 Let's see what else we can find in here. Some uh, some interesting writing in here, indicating uh, ounces. What an ounce equals 28 grams. Uh, and a pound equals 16 ounces. I'm gonna uh, see what this guy has to say about this. Excuse me, sir. Am I, am I going to jail? What well, do you understand your rights? Oh, yeah, Willing to talk to me? Okay. Okay. That marijuana in the back, whose is that? So I have a pretty good idea that that blue bag, where that blue bag came from. And whose is it? I'm sorry for holding it, sir. What are you holding it for? I don't even know. I think he just stuck it in there right when I dropped him off. You know, I, just, I just can't believe it. What's the, uh, what's that, that, uh, little book that I found in there? What's the book? Black book? Yeah. With the, that was written There's in. all the grams and all that stuff in it. I don't know, just. Huh? Just this little book. I'm just writing it, but. Well, be honest with me. Are you selling this stuff just to make a little bit of extra money? If you are, you are. Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay. Sir, I'm sorry. All right. How much does uh, that whole jar of weed cost? $200. $200? And you just sell each one of those little buds? Yeah. Five bucks? Like five bucks. And five bucks. Right. I'm sorry, sir. I, was just like, I didn't know any better, you know? Because I just got in an accident and needed to pay this money. And right, right. I got dropped an ounce and I got to sell it, so it's like, yeah, you know? Sorry, officer. All right. I can't believe I did just... All right, jump back in there, man. We're going to charge him with the warrant uh, that he has outstanding for um, the driver's license issue, and then we'll uh, charge him based on my expertise, uh, the packaging, and the, uh, the size and quantity. Um, and his, state, his own statement and admission um, will charge him on the uh, sales of marijuana and book him into county jail on a felony. I was born in Ozark, Arkansas. Uh, I grew up there most of my life. I joined the United States Marine Corps when I was 17. I got stationed out in 29 Palms, California. I work with the Sheriff's Department, I'm currently assigned to Watch 3, which is our swing shift. It's uh, 3 in the afternoon until 1 o'clock in the morning. I like that shift mainly, uh, it keeps me busy throughout the shift. Advice, wanted to leave, currently has a kitchen knife and is sitting in a gray 2002 F-150 that's parked in the driveway. Along with a pepper ball with a subject uh, having a knife. 
the uh, one of my B partners is at the attempt suicide right now. And he is at uh, on scene with the subject. The subject has a knife in the car, and we're rolling to uh, 311 reference uh, the pepper ball. Fifteen ninety-seven. Give us minimum. Copy. I just been recovery team. Minimum recovery for guests on standby. Report twenty-seven. Show you around. Fifteen, we're gonna be code four on San Fiber. Don't don't put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back now. Put them behind your back. I'm not gonna tell you again. Get down to your knees. Get down to your knees. Now. Chance on your back. No, you know what? Go down on your stomach. Go down All the way. Stomach. All the way on your stomach. Down your stomach. Just come up and push him over. Come up and push him over. <clears throat> Go down to your stomach. Go down to your stomach. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put them back. Put the other one back. Put your hands behind your back. Put the other one back. Now. Put the other hand back. Put the other one back, you're gonna get sprayed. Put the other one back. 15, we're physical right now, just hang on. Give me another cuff. Just don't fight, alright? Resisting. All right, let's quit resisting. <clears throat> All right, 15, we get the cuts on him, we're code four. <clears throat> no, you're getting physical with us. Okay, you're used to okay, comply with anything fine. we tell you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And now you're getting physical. Well, that's fine. Okay, it's not Where's no hard feelings, all right? Where's your knife? Feet. Okay. You wanna go look? Yeah. But I just want attention. Just want attention? Yeah. Well, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, you threaten anybody with a knife or just walk out with it or what happened? He just walked in and then when I seen it, he just got into the truck. Okay. And then that's when I was trying to talk to him. I said, you know what, just give me the knife and go inside and go to sleep. Nobody's trying to argue with you. Okay. But he wouldn't listen and he started pounding. So I told my brother, you know what? He started pounding? Like pounding on the chair, you know. I don't okay. know what the knife or I don't know what. I okay. See. He just wanted to leave on the truck. Yeah. And we don't want him to because either he's going to hurt himself. It's understandable. You know what I mean? It's understandable. No, you guys did a good job calling us and uh, letting us deal with it. So you guys heard uh, heard us giving him commands to to get down on his stomach yeah. so he wouldn't yeah, fight around. Okay, so you saw him you yeah. saw him pull away from my partner yeah, and all that? That's why I told him myself, you know what, you need to listen to him. If Absolutely. Him, I'm good. Okay, well what's going to happen is uh, we'll, we'll get him uh, We'll get him down to the hospital and we'll get him evaluated. Um, is anything going on right now in his life? Uh, any kind of death in the family? No, I just, I'm, I'm thinking it's just like a lot of stress, like bills-wise. Like okay. Maybe. All right, thank you guys. I'll, I'll come back over and talk to you in a minute. <laughs> what's your name, man? Jose? All right. Is there a reason why you're fighting with us? No, I was just fighting. Can I know? Felt like it was time to go or what? No, no, no. Okay. All right, no problem. My partner explained to you what's going to happen, right? No. Okay, well, what's going to happen is we're going to take you down and get you evaluated, okay, with what's going on, all right? You got a lot of stress on you right now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's what we're here for, man. We're here to help you, okay? So next time, don't fight with us. Just just go along with us, okay? I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it, all right? It happens. 
right. it happens okay? okay we don't take it personal we're just here to help you out that's all we're worried about okay, okay? all right all right you're not uh, under arrest okay. all right okay. you, uh, the left one's a little bit too tight okay right? we'll, we'll get you as soon as we get you up here okay right. come pull your knee in there you go uh-huh ready All right, we'll get you in just a second, okay? Just stand up against the car here and we'll get you. This one right here is too All right. tight. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Am I better? Yeah, thank you. All right. Try to have a seat in there best you can, all right? Watch your head. It would been a bad situation if we'd had to fight that guy. He was a big boy, so uh, we'll get him some help and... Uh, Hopefully, he'll be doing better with his life. Oh, you'll fit. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. King's dead. Get into 2514. Can't transmit on tag 2. Peter's Warning. If you watch Late Night Fox Saturday, you may do this. <laughs> Bad TV and Spike, late night Saturday on Fox. I'm John Walsh, and at the top of the hour, happy 100 years to the FBI. We watch the G-Men work at their state-of-the-art training academy. Then we go to work and help them grab some of their 10 most wanted fugitives. Be here to swing into action when America's Most Wanted starts in just 30 minutes. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And night after night, I'm out here hitting the streets, trying to uh, reduce the crime out here. And, uh, you know, I go home. My family is uh, most important to me. I'm very supportive, you know, wife and kids. And uh, so that's what I think about, it. you know. I know I'm keeping them safe, and yet I'm keeping uh, other families safe while they're at home sleeping and or even on the roads. I stopped this car, just went by, no tag light on it. Got a lot of drug sales, drug purchasing going on in here this time of night. A lot of complaints. Let's see if uh see what we got up here. Ten thirty three five zero two one is on your map. Sorry, when you ready. Ten thirty three. Traffic at 2005, Alpha 81. 26, uh, 65 tag. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Sir? Good, how you doing? Right. Got your license on you? Yes, Thank you very much. Is this your car? Yes, sir. And your name? What's the part? No, yes, it is. What you doing in this neck of the woods? Sir? What are you doing in this neck of the woods? I'm um, going to get the um, brake light. When I press on the brake, the light go out. So see, I'm going to see if they set a little brake light. For see, the, see light. you had to come all the way over? No, I've been over this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been over this way. Okay. My job right there on the next street, reliable route. All right. The reason why you're getting pulled over tonight is because your tag light. Tag light okay. doesn't work. You got anything car I need to know about? Nice gun, stroke, sharp, air from your horse shoes on Bin Laden? You don't no, mind if I search car? No, no problem, sir. You want me to come out? Huh? Yeah, go ahead and step out, call. This one you do, just put your hands right up there. Just right at the top of the car. No. You can call my boss, man. Turn around. Put your hands on your head. On the head? Yeah. 
you think you're gonna get arrested? Sir? You think you're going to jail or something? Nah, this is just the, the principle, man. What? Y'all searching me. For no. what? For a I'm break? Just making sure you don't have any weapons. Okay, no problem. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? You're outside the car. You, you all right? Yeah, I told you. Is something I should know about? No, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. The chest is pounding, boss. Yeah, because this is my first time in life getting oh, pulled really? over, over, over this way. I never got arrested over this way, sir. Okay, okay. Just do me a favor. Come stand back here. You take your shoes off for me? You just slip off, right? Yes, sir. Runner! Best stop! Got a taste. No, no, Sam! Get on ground now! Put your hands behind your back! Please, you understand? Yes, sir, I'm so sorry. Put your hands behind your back! Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I'm... I mean... We got 10, 15, 23. My wife just oh, my had God. kids. He was acting very nervous. I told him to start taking off his shoes. He took off running. Right there, somewhere, somewhere right in here, he got, he got a bag of crack. He got a bag of crack right there. Mark, I got one bag so far. To us. Listen, can you, can you can you look at me? What'd you run for, man? I barely could breathe. So you ran because you couldn't breathe? Huh? So you ran because you couldn't breathe? I was scared. What were you scared of? Uh, I, this is my first time ever being known as in with police is behind me. No, oh, really? All right, stand up. Wait, I'm sorry. Huh? Okay, hold on. Well, did you run out of your, your pants? No, I found a clip for you. Huh? I said I found a clip for you. Have a seat. Let me ask this for, for reference. Did you take any cocaine tonight? No, sir. Did you? No, sir. You need to be honest with me because that's. I'm positive, sir. You need to test me right so, now. Sir. So, what's the cocaine you have now? What's, what was that for? Powder. What was the powder for? Sir? What was the powder for? The one guy who I dropped off from that he gave me a bag of powder. For what? You don't use coke, though, do you? No, I don't use it. So, what do you, what do you have it for? Huh? Sir? Can you put it in your shoe? I'll put it in my shoe. What shoe did you have it in? I ain't have no powder in my shoe. You didn't have powder in your shoe? No, sir. Where'd you have it? What I had powder in, I had powder in my hand when I got out of the car. And what'd you do with it? I dropped it by the car. It was a little tin or something. I'm sorry, check that wallet. He's saying he had the blue bag in his hand when he uh, got out of the car. And I possibly put it with the money. Then I could have gone a lot, a lot easier for that guy. All he had to do was own up for what he had, and a little bit of dope. He would have just gone for, for a simple ride, but uh, now he's got additional charges going on him, resisting with, fleeing. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a night he's going to spend in county jail for a little bit longer time. You know, that first day of being by yourself, I was so nervous. And I remember every time I'd hear the radio crackle, you know, before the dispatch would send a call, I think, please don't be for me. Please don't be my call. Um, but as the day went on, I made a few traffic stops. You just you get used to it throughout the day, and the next day was easier and so forth. Um, but I remember that feeling of uh, real being real anxious that I'm not going to know what to do when this first call comes out. Uh, it's kind of a funny memory to look back on. Going to make a traffic stop on this green Ford Taurus. Uh, it's got no license plate, no temperament, and there is a recently stolen one matching this description. We're on detective. <laughs> and 
975, we're going to be about 89th and Powell. And if there's a close car, code one cover, please. Hi. Hi. Is this your car? No, it's in my van. It's your friend's car? Yeah. Okay. How come you don't have a license plate? My driving license is suspended. Yeah. Okay. Please. I want you to take your keys out and get me the keys. This is no keys. It's a no key car. It's not my friend. No keys? Yeah. It's not my How car. do you start the car then? What? How do you start the car? How do you turn the car on? Es que es broken. He's looking. A key is broken. Key. Oh, it's broken. But key. Okay. Key so it's your friend's car. Yeah. You're suspended. Yeah. Do you know why there's no license plate on the car? No, it's says tiene como maybe. What's your friend's name? Bande. What's up? What's your friend's name? My friend is uh, two, uh, two name is Mosca. No, I don't know his name original. Mosca is my friend. Okay. Okay. So you don't really know your friend's name? Uh, no, no, I don't know what is the name original the the, the Okay. Friend. So, so it's your friend's friend. car and you don't know your friend's name? No. Have you ever had an Oregon driver's license? Who? Have you ever had a driver's license? What? Have you had a driver's license in Oregon? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So you should be in our system in DMV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is your first name? Eh, uh, Mosca. Can you spell that for me? Who? Spell your first name. My name? Yeah. What? What is spelled? How do you spell your name? What is spelled? My two number? Oh, you're killing me. Step out of the car. Okay. okay. And just keep your hands out where I can okay. see them, okay? Step out of the car. Okay. You don't have any weapons and pistolas? Nothing. Okay. Put your hands nothing. on the back of your head. Interlock your fingers. Okay. Separate your feet for me. I'm going to set him in my car. Or can I set him in your car until we figure out who he is? He has selective English. What's this? This is my friend, Chang. All right, let's go set him in your car. Let's go have a seat in this car, okay? You don't understand what I'm saying, so just have a seat for now. I'm just checking, uh, running the VIN on the car, the license plate that was in the windshield. Actually, it comes back to a Ford Thunderbird, um, which this is a Ford Taurus. So we're gonna find out who this car, wh what this car is, who it belongs to, and it's a stolen car. It's actually the one on the hot sheet that I've been looking for. All righty, I'm Officer Botitis. I'm gonna figure out who you are. Do you have ID? No, it's my DS Gold, but it's it's at home. Yeah. Okay. He says he has no, a suspended license. Right now, no house. Right oh. now it's a suspended did you, did you give your true name to the officer already? Yeah. You did? Yeah, my name is not. That's your name? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make sure that that's your name. If it's not your name yeah. and, you're, and you're not telling the truth to the officer, you can be charged with separate crimes. Do you understand that? It's my name. It's uh, called an IBIS machine that takes uh, fingerprints from the individual that we have detained and it, it tells us does belong to uh, somebody then it's identified by um, one of our ID techs up in our identification division. Did you already print him? No. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have, have you go ahead and place no, your right same. thumb. Okay, yeah. Right thumb. Yeah. There you go. And I'm just going to have you relax it, okay? Just relax. Let me push, okay? You don't push. I'll take care of pushing, all right? Okay. All righty. You get it? Yeah. Let me make sure that this thing is connected. It'll transfer the thumbprints over to this machine. And then once it has the information, it'll send it up to the computer. Okay. That's not my car. I know. It's a stolen car. No, it's my car. I know it's not your car, okay? You were yeah, driving it. Possession of a stolen vehicle. It's a stolen car. Okay? Yeah, pero no es my car. Okay. All right. It's trouble. It's trouble. Everything is trouble. Well, you took it from a friend you don't even it's know trouble. the name of. Let me talk to him. Victor, it's trouble. It's trouble for me. It's trouble check. It's trouble computer. It's all trouble for me. The people, I don't know. In the United States, everything, people not good. Did you get the hit back? Yes. Looks like I just received it. Let me take a look and see what it says. And there's our SID number, so we can identify him. 
by uh, state identification number. Let's plug, let's go ahead and plug, plug, it in, yeah, plug in that SID number as well just to verify it. But according to what it's saying here, the name that he provided is in fact him. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, Fosso. You understand you're being arrested, correct? What? You're, you're under arrest, okay? You're going to be charged. Looking for no, I mean, okay, hey, to listen to me, okay? okay. You're under arrest. You're yeah. going to be charged with not only driving while suspended, which you obviously admitted right away, uh, but also for unlawful use of a motor vehicle and possession of a stolen vehicle, okay? Hey, me arrest, huh? You're arrested. 2695. We're going to stop this vehicle here uh, while we're at the uh, traffic stoplight. Looked like the uh, passenger was uh, rolling up a uh, marijuana cigarette. So we're going to stop the vehicle and see what's uh, going on. Right. Do you have a driver's license? Put your hands up here so I can see them, please. Yeah. Thank you. Should I turn off the music? Please. Okay. Okay, just hang back here for a minute, okay? Okay, sure. When we were at the traffic light, right. the front passenger right. was rolling up a marijuana cigarette. I smell marijuana in there, too. So we're going to get him out because that's our probable cause to search the vehicle. He's holding a rolled up cigarette. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to get them out and then, all right? Just come, come and step out. So this okay. Is Do you have anything on you? No weapons or anything? No. All right. Um, I'm just letting you know that I'm going to bring everybody out and we'll search your vehicle. Okay? Because okay. number one, I saw him rolling the marijuana cigarette at the traffic light. And number two, I smell marijuana in your vehicle. So that, yeah. gives, me, that gives me probable cause to search your vehicle. Okay. Yeah, I don't let me let me ask you something. Have you ever smoked marijuana in this car? Yes, I've smoked marijuana in this okay. car. Okay, so that's the smell that I'm getting. Exactly. Okay, why don't you do I me a favor? Anymore, actually. Go ahead and step back with that deputy. Okay. Hey, Pat. I haven't done it tonight. Okay. Or anything, go, all right. Go ahead. You can step back there with that deputy. I smelled marijuana. That gives us probable cause to uh, search the vehicle just off the smell. It looks like a package of syringes. Let's see, usually it could be for heroin. Let's see if they have a, got a pill bottle down here. I'm not sure if it's full or... Okay, and that's probably what they were hiding. I will call poison control, but apparently I think those blue pills might be oxycodone. Of course, there's no label on it. Come here, please. Remember how I started my conversation with you right, mm -hmm. about the honesty, right? Yeah. So we're, we're on the same page with that. Mm -hmm. I found something in the car. I found several items in the car. Right. Pills. Okay. Whose are those? My boyfriend's prescription, most likely. His prescription? Who's your boyfriend? Eric. Or, well, he's not really my boyfriend anymore. We broke up, but I'm still calling that. It's only been a couple Is he weeks. the gentleman in the front seat? Mm hmm Okay. I mean, I don't understand. Do you think he's going to man up and be straight up? Oh, I'm, I don't... That's why I don't understand why the bottle wouldn't have a name on it. It should. I don't understand why it wouldn't. Okay. All right. Let me go talk to him then. Okay. All right. Go ahead and stand over there. Let me call. Okay. Eric. The pills that I found underneath the uh, the seat. The pills? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Whose are those? The probably mine. They're I have a prescription for them. Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh oh, that's it. Air uh -huh. And don't know why the, the cap just fell off. That's probably why there might be some on the floor back there. There's the cap for it. Why was the pill bottle underneath your seat? What a pill bottle? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know about a pill bottle. Now that's my that's my prescription with my name on it. 
So you don't know about the pill bottle? No, I would obviously. This, yeah, this is my prescription bottle. Okay. And yeah, I just got that done today. So, so the pill bottle is underneath the front passenger seat that I found underneath the front passenger unless seat. That, unless it has my name on it. You had no idea about. It's the only of you mine because it had my name on it. Okay. I had my prescription with my name on it. Uh -huh. you know but, what I mean? but you know also that people have been doing this for a lot of years. People yeah. put their own pills that they have prescription because you know these are a good go. Yes, for a pretty absolutely. Oh, you, know, you mean oh, you mean for a pretty oh, you mean for for sale wise? Yes, uh huh. Oh no. Oh you know, well, I understand. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. Because you're yes. not going to go and, talking, yes. and sell this to somebody and open up your pill bottle and you know yeah. you're going to put in a, a pill bottle like that with no label and stuff. That's what. Oh, you mean if you were actually selling? If you put you if you were if I was giving him the bottle or something like that, right. I wouldn't give him a prescription bottle with my exactly. name on it. Obviously, okay. Exactly. But like I said, I'm like I said, I'm doing all. I'm getting all this stuff. Like I said, there's paperwork right over there. For the summons, I went to court this morning, mm -hmm. and I'm going, like I said, I'm starting okay. rehab over at CARP and everything well, like that. Well, all right, come here. Oh, okay. Come here. Put your feet, oh, I'm sorry. Put your feet together for me. Put your feet together. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, my God, Relax. dude. Relax. Just. Why is that I don't know. All right. You got to tell okay. us. You're supposed to be going to CARP, right? Yes. You don't think it would be unrealistic that those pills under your seat in an unmarked prescription bottle could be yours? There, I have my prescription bottles right I there. I understand that, but the same type of pills that are in the bottle you showed us is the same pills that are in the unmarked bottle. So it has Listen, to come clean right now, are you, guys. Are you telling me it's unrealistic that you're going to drug treatment? The same type of pills that are in an unmarked bottle, the same type you have? The paperwork's right there. Do you, you have anything in your pockets? Just just my, just the pill bottle, just the pill bottle that I had and everything like that. Okay. And then I also... Let's go ahead. That's 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 just that's right there. That's one of the people next to me. I told Are you him about it. Are you kidding me? I just asked you if you had anything in your pocket. And, and I you told, told you that. No. I, I, told, I said you I had not say you right had a syringe. There. There's also there's something that was all capped up. That was from the buprenex injections. I said there... there's a whole bunch of syringes okay. over there. So when someone's gonna let me go to jail. How do you even know it's up? And I'm finally going to. I'm getting it back together, and I'm trying. You know. Eric, you got a syringe in your pocket. Dude, that is, that's not real. Really, you're not getting they're, it together. Dude, they're talking about that right there, right, Ray? Uh, listen to me, bro. What they're going to do, they're going to do to you regardless. They might take us too, but listen, you got to get... I'll, so you only take admit that for everyone else? I'm not saying that, bro. You're going to let Whoever me go down? That is, Blaze of glory? No, no. I'll, get, I'll, I'll take Eric, the charge for the syringe. Right. I'll take the charge for that, but someone better take the charge for that pill bottle. I'm already saying That's the not same, mine. I'm already saying the same thing. Well, listen. That makes no sense, bro. Right? Well... Why would I take why would I take built pills going in another bottle down. and stick them down there? I don't know. That's why I asked them to, because they're sitting behind you. Alright. Oh that. my I'm god. This is I can't believe this. I'm not blaming putting it all Dude, so it is. He's gonna go to jail the for the time, uh, possession of controlled substance. He was going to uh, a rehab facility, now he can go to our rehab facility, the county jail. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 11 affirming code I'm going to head up to this burglary call, one of the smaller uh, Mexican restaurants up in the uh, northeast uh, portion of town. Uh, there might be somebody stuck in the building there. and uh, I guess there's a, a window that was smashed out uh, to the front. Copy. Can you see if we can ascertain a license plate on that vehicle? Copy. The suspects are all COA. One was COA in a black BMW, one in a gray BMC truck. The suspect with the gray BMC was possibly armed with a small color. X-ray 16 confirmed on a window smash. Is there a canine working tonight? Was it smashed the front? Yeah, look at the cash register though. Oh, wow. The drawer's gone, who knows?
There's just a real small window. Yeah, Caesar and the dog are coming up right now. Hey, Caesar, how are you? Yeah. This uh, this was smashed out right here. And when we go around back, there's uh, looks like they tried to get out the back, but there's two really good security screen doors back there where they can't get out. And uh, you can see the cash register in the back through the, uh, sec the right. screen doors, and it looks like it's all broken up. So you can't you can't get. Oh, look at that customer is there too. Um, you can't get out the back, right? Mm -hmm. There's only way in. Um, can you squeeze your dog through there? Well, I'll send him in there and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, please, come on, set police dog. Go, please, come on, set police dog. There is somebody yeah. in there, huh? Good boy, fast! Fast, fast, fast! He's in there? Fast! Yeah. He's got him! Oh, somebody's in there? Yeah. yeah. Good boy! Hand us to Caesar. Hand us to Caesar. Make sure, make sure That's mine, Caesar. Hey, yeah. come on. Somebody's got to come in here. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Let me see your hands! Yeah, it's like a double cylinder lock where you need a key on uh, both sides, so. We're just gonna have to figure out how to get him out of here. This was sitting just inside the broken window up there. But it looks like he uh, brought the cash register back here and got the drawer out of it. And it looks like it's all broken now. What are you guys talking about in there? He's saying that his buddy works here and he was in here drinking with him. I was like, well, that doesn't make no sense. Oh. And then he oh. would just scream and hold it in the back. But did you, did you hear that, though? I guess he tried to make it out the back door when the dog was back there. Oh, and I really? guess when the dog... Him, straight down. Since uh, he tried to get out the back door, the dog got him and brought him down. Sure. Well, now his buddy was going to go get some more beer, so he locks him in there. Hey, I, I see about 3 o'clock, 3.30. Yeah, about 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock that he started drinking. I think they're open at that time. Yeah, they probably are. So he was trying to come up with some of his excuse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, it was his buddy's day off. They got here at 7. Oh. Well, now it's seven. <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, registers on here. He was definitely somewhere where we couldn't see him looking through the windows. It's a little bit of money here. This is this is where the guy got bit. Yeah, right here. Right here, huh? Joe. Here's his hat right there. So. Joe just made a phone call to one of the employees here. So the guy that he's saying that works here doesn't work here. Oh, he doesn't. There's no Enrique. Uh, All females that work here. Oh, wow. The drug just passed out. Probably just gave up. Yeah. That's so why I didn't hear the announcement. Well, he's probably just saying, you know what, I'm just going to sober up a little, and then I'll crawl my way back out that front window. When you got in here with Caesar, this is where the guy was laying down? Yeah, right there. See the little... Yeah, those, that's like uh, <laughs> blood from his leg. Right. This is where he got bit. This is part of his money, too. Yeah, and his head was up here. His head was right here. He had his arms oh. wrapped around this. And the dog was trying to pull on him? Yes. So, when the Caesar secured his dog, I was able to put him in handcuffs. Very good. So, off to the hospital for him? Yep. Have his leg checked out? And it's off the county. That's how the stuff for Matino said he had dentro. Entendido? Te vamos a llevar al hospital para que te curen de la pierna. Está bien? Okay? What were you saying? 
I tell him uh, he's being arrested for burglary. Yeah. And uh, as soon as they uh, you know, wrap him up and all that, we're going to go to the hospital and have a doctor treat him. Good deal. I can't think of anything else in the world that I want to be doing. This is, uh, this is a job I love. My heart's in it. I got family members that are cops, and it's a great job. I'm a patrol guy. I like to patrol the zone. Uh, I look for suspicious incidents. Uh, I do some traffic. Um, criminals got to get from point A to point B. Uh, they're usually driving cars. I'm going to stop this car over here. It's got a brake light out. Let's get with the driver, see if he knows what's up. 206 or so, 10 5th. Indigo 2 3. Yeah, and Baker coming up on SO5. Thank you, Eric. How's it going? All right, you got a license? You don't have a license. Step out of the car for me. Why don't you have a license? Uh, just because I, I don't. Turn around. Put your hands on top of the car. Okay. You have anything else you know about? No, Nothing. Nothing. Okay, for right now, I'm just going to put you in handcuffs for my safety and yours, all right? Yes, just relax. Anything in the car I need to know about? Any drugs? No, I got some prescription drugs. You got some prescription drugs? Yes, sir. They're, Where are they they're, at? They're in a bottle. They're prescribed to me. They're in my glove box. What kind of drugs? What they're, kind? They're Roxy's. Roxy's. Oh, but I'm sure I have a prescription. They're they're legal. Okay. They're, uh, you have been arrested before? Yes, sir. For what? For uh, possession of Xanax. Sir. For possession of Xanax. Yes, Do you need an ambulance? No, I'm so, I mean, I was just going to get checked out. So just having leg pain. Seen your legs hurt real bad, and that's. How many months pregnant are you? Eight, Eight months pregnant. All right, just sit tight for me. Just get, you know, we'll sit right here in front of my car, okay? okay cool. Sit right there in the bumper. All right, you're under arrest. Don't go anywhere, you understand? Uh, yes, I'm not going nowhere, sir. Okay. I'm not trying to run or nothing out, but we, I just had to get her to the hospital. You want to step out for me? You sure you don't need an ambulance or anything? Right. You have any labor pains or... Okay, is there somebody you can call that could take you to the hospital? There's somebody you can call right now because she's going to be tied up here for a few minutes. You ever been arrested? Um, a while ago. For? Um, uh, possession of paraphernalia. There's no, no, no other drugs in the car. I'm not going to find any marijuana, any pipes, any stems, any nothing. You're kidding me, right? In a bottle like that, it's got no name on it, no nothing. How do I know this is yours? I got, is my arrest papers in there? They had it on it the other day, it just wore off. Just worn off? Just worn off? I just got arrested three days ago, sir. For what, possession? For not for, the, no, the, I had those with me and they seen that it, it was on there, the label was on there. What did you get arrested for three days ago? For, for possession. Position is Xanax. Okay, so. But no, I had those, and the, the label was good on it then. Just, I know, the papers are there, though. I know I had them. I had them there. Come so on, like I had the I have the papers that say that I'm prescribed this. What are these? I got I got them at the same time, sir. My the other bottle I just carry it in my pocket. And what about this? Two or six. Okay, get another unit, please. What else am I going to find? That's it, right there. That's it? That's okay. It. He told me just the drugs. Now I find a needle. That's for my, my desert one. My doc, I can't eat them. Uh, my doc told me I can take them when I wanted to take them. Oh, really? So you can crush them up, burn them, and inject them? I don't, I don't, that's not, I don't, I snore them. I don't even, I don't inject them or nothing. That's, so that's, what's, what's that's the not, needle? That's mine. I don't even, where'd you just find that at? Right next to the pill bottles. That's right. I know exactly who that is, sir. It's, it's, that's not mine. I know who that is. Uh, and Who's is it? Your wife's? No, it's not hers. It's, it's this guy, Paul, that I, I had in my car last night, sir. Do you want an ambulance? Okay. Basically, 
He's been arrested before for possession of uh, controlled substance. And uh, upon further looking in the car, I found the needle, hypodermic needle, which is used for injecting drugs. His girlfriend, or whatever she is, she's pregnant. So, let's see what else I'm going to turn up in here. I'm sure I'll find something like this. It's another piece of paraphernalia for smoking marijuana. Come back here. You're going to sit in this car for me back here. Come back here with me also. I'm going to have this female deputy check you, make sure you don't have anything hiding on you, okay? He's good. Just check her. All right, he said you can have the car, so when the people get here, whoever... Uh, Do you know what his charges are going to be? Yeah, he's going to go for driving with a suspended license with knowledge and also possession of paraphernalia. And you know how much that's going to be? Uh, it's probably going to be about 1000 I don't know what the bond amount's going to be yet. Okay? And then whatever's in that needle, I'm going to send that off to the lab to get testing. Oh, there's something in it? Yeah. You know, being around the marijuana and the kids isn't a good thing. You know that, right? Someone needs to make a smart choice here. I'm not going to sit here and try to preach totally to you, but, you know, I mean, I, situations are different. But if, you know, the kid doesn't have a choice, you have the choice. I mean, this all could have been avoided if you were driving with a license, you know. You need to straighten your life up. All right? Drugs is not the answer. I appreciate your cooperation and your honesty. All right? All right, guys, this is what we're doing here. We're going to execute a low-risk search warrant over at this uh, crack house where they've been selling to us. Afterwards, if while we're there, some uh, potential buyers show up, we'll have two undercover agents in place to sell to them. Uh, they're going to give the takedown signal when a purchase is made. We'll move in for the takedown. The main emphasis, again, is being safe, using cover and concealment, contact, and a uh, cover person will we'll designate at that point when we're there. All right, let's get this done, and let's uh, I'll be safe. Being in the narcotics unit, we want to uh, not only just target the high-end distributors, but also tackle the low-end dealers like we're going to do today. It's a quality of life issue. Every neighborhood wants their neighborhood to be safe and to be clean. All right, we're approaching the target house right now. All right, Doug, I'm with you. Let's go ahead and move in. Doors open. Doors open. Come here. Sheriff's Hi. office. Sheriff's office. Hey, get, Everybody. Hey, get down in the ground. Now. Right. Down in the ground. Come on. Everybody out. Right. Holster your right gun. You are, pal. Don't even move. Let me see your hand. So just hold on. All right. What did you get so far? Anything? So far, nothing. It, it, it would appear that they have to re-up. I think what one of them even said. They're out? They're fresh out of Coke? Yep. Okay. The only thing that we came across was paraphernalia. This pipe, we could only find one pipe. Copper, wire mesh, spoon. Paraphernalia, so chances are they needed to re-up before it. they started selling. That's when we came here, luckily, they were out of material. Correct. They are actively selling, though. Let's so we'll see what else we can do here. Lady in the Green is the one that uh, has been selling to us for some time. She actually looks familiar. I think she's been other places selling. What do you think about this lady selling crack out of your house here? I... Make I... you mad? Yes, An does. invasion? Police had to invade your home? Yes. Well, what do you have to say to her exactly? Got a new place to stay. That's what happens when you try to help people out. They were living in the woods. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're out. All right, thanks. They're bringing up some more. That was the supplier? Yeah, that was it. They're, she said she's bringing more. And they're coming through? Yeah. All right, so let's get set up, and we'll go ahead and do it. All right. All right, what we're doing right now is while doing the search warrant, uh, we received a call from the actual dealer that provides for this house. Oh, no, here's a white one. Yeah. White car. My car is in right now. Cover the driver from the middle of the car. Me and Ramsey, you're going to approach the driver and take her out. Now. Go, go, go. Sheriff's Office!
Travis, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. Get out of the car, dear. Get out of the car. Put your hands on top of the car now. Put your hands on top of the car. Come over here. I haven't done nothing. I have not done nothing. Just do not resist. I'm not. Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Search her. It's commonly referred to as a cookie of crack. She had it on the floorboard, obviously stepped on it or something. It's all broken up there. There's some more on the floor here on the ground outside. She came out with her. Here's the bag that it was in. I don't know what else we'll find after we search it completely. Let's go talk to her over here. What were you doing here? I came to see someone. And what? And that's that. And that's that. You came to sell drugs, right? I came to see someone. What did your friend, this is very important, what did your friend know about what was going on here? Absolutely nothing. You sure? I put it on everything. So it's all your fault? Your friend didn't have anything to do with this? Yes, sir. How irresponsible of a person would you say that you are, that you brought a four-year-old to a drug deal here in Lake Worth? Very. What are you doing here? She's been my friend for the longest. She picked me up. She was supposed to go take me to go get my nails done. I had the certificate in the car. I had the money to go, you know, to, to pay for the tip. And I go to school. Okay. I don't deal with that. I've never sold drugs in my life. None of that. Okay, I'm 21 years old. Have you ever been arrested before? Yes, I have. What for? Well, one, like, I, you know, I'm going to be honest. I was um, addicted on drugs when I was, like, two years ago. I had powder or whatever. I think this conversation is pretty much over. If you're not going to be cooperative and tell us what we want to hear, then this is nothing what more to say. What are you going to do with my kid? This Come on. is not fair. Come on. Hey, Sarge, what did you find in the car? All right, this is what we found inside the car here. You get a good amount of crack, marijuana. It's like a half of a Percocet. Two-year-old child. She claimed that she didn't know anything, but she ended up being in possession. There's no way that she didn't know all of this was in the car. All right, and we're going to charge her with aggravated child abuse? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge her. We're going to open a case from Department of Children and Families, and uh, both of them are going to go to jail for possession. All right, excellent. Good job. Waiting right now for a delivery of another two ounces of cocaine to this household from a uh, supplier. Okay, they're going to pull in the main driveway right in front of the house. Those are by my truck. They're pulling in. They're parked right now. The passenger is getting out. He's walking around. He's in front of the house now, walking around towards the side door. Um, you guys might want to get ready. He's almost to the door. He's going to take down now. Take the car. Take the car. Get out! 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 Get Spread your feet. Spread your, your feet apart and listen to the man. Young man, come here. Let's talk here for a second. You take responsibility of the things that you just did here? Huh? You want help for drug addiction? I don't, I don't do that. You don't do it? You just sell it? I don't sell it. Well, you were coming here to sell it, right? Yeah. Well, that's selling it. But I didn't know it wasn't mine, though. What do you have to say? feel stupid. $1,600 worth of some cocaine for somebody and you're going to ruin your life over it? You ever been arrested? Yes, sir. For what? Um, control, control substance. Oh, drugs. Here you are again, coming to sell to an undercover agent. I feel for you, my friend, but you're going to be going to jail, you know. I understand.